Hey guys, so I just want to talk about a new little uh, use for a tool, a method for cleaning wood that I've never tried before. And I, I've never seen anybody mention how it will burn the wood and it, it almost replaces the need for a varnish or a finish. So this specifically works with this older wood that was rough sawn and then sitting in a basement, part of a house for so many years. See how rough that is? Well, I took a flap disc and that's what I get. And I had, I think it was either an 80 or a 120 grit Harbor Freight flap disc. And it actually gave almost like a mirror finish to a certain extent, well, you know, what you could expect from this. And it actually works really well. Now, this is a 36 grit. I don't, this is my last flap disc. So this leaves more of a, a cardboard feel and I'll probably want to go over, the, over that again. But I've also noticed that whenever you let the flap discs wear down, that really accelerates this burning or whatever it is, because you have to get it hot. And I just think that's so interesting looking. So it looked like that. And now it looks like this. And I've been using some of this wood that I got from the dumpster. And this is, this stuff is 1930s lumber. It's interesting, you can still see some of the sap coming out, it's still hot. This, I believe, was 1920s. And yeah, I just find this so interesting. You know what, actually, here's Here's some blocks from the rest of the, because this is going to be a big build. And, and this little technique will most likely get lost inside of that video about making a cabinet for my vintage computers. So I just want to make a, a, a one-off video just talking about this specific method of using a flap disc. Now, this was the 120 grit. I think it was 120 grit. It, it, whatever, whatever Harbor Freight sells, that's not a 36 grit. And it was a little bit more difficult to get a burning look to it, but I was still able to do that because the flap disc was still, well, it was brand new. I'd only use it for a little bit of metal. And so it seems like if you want to have a brand new disc to do the cleaning and then go over it with a bad one, a worn out one, then that could give you your extra, your extra like finish. And I had one that I did that was really gnarly and I had to just gouge it out. A used up disc doesn't gouge it out as much because it has a lot of wood and junk. Like I'll never, I'll never be using this one for, for metal again. This is just for wood now, although that one's about at the end of its life. And so, yeah, I would recommend get, having maybe a few of them. They're so cheap having a newer one that has more of its grit still to carve things and then using a more used up one to do that burny polishing kind of effect. And let's see, what's this? Oh, these were two separate. Mm. Can't remember how this goes, but that's the core of the wood. That's the, oh yeah, so this one I actually did use. For this one, I planed the inside. This is, so this is what a planed surface looks like. And then this is what a flap disc surface looks like. And this is flap disc on both sides as well. With this one, I did touch it up with the table saw, but it didn't really turn out how I wanted, so I went over again with the flap disc. It actually went really well. So I've, for this project, I've been specifically just working with the old wood that I have. And I might use some of this wood, some of the really gnarly stuff, especially those two long pieces. I'm kind of curious how they'll look. Newer stuff and cleaner stuff like this or this, that, that won't really work. But that old stuff, coupled with maybe a few old oak floorboards. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna use these just because I happen to have them for the shelves. 
So these, once again, I'm gonna clean them up. And these ones are, this one's gonna need a lot of gouging. It's got a lot of rot. These will be for cross braces. You know what? Let's take this out and see. The reason why I started doing this is because I had so many nails I couldn't remove. Now these ones I'll be able to get out, but let's see. down here. It does give a certain look to it. And it definitely takes it from roughish to polished. You know, it's all a matter of choice and knowing when to use this, but this looks like it's a really good application for reviving some of this wood. Like, like look at that. This is just amazing. It smells like pipe smoke. So somebody must have smoked a pipe in that basement that this was in, of the building that we salvaged this from, or bathroom or something. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, this look at a specific technique. Thank you very much for watching. See you.